Hi guys, uh, I thought I'd uh, just quickly take a look at uh, this standby light. Uh, this light kicks in when uh, the power goes out, or it's supposed to. A couple of days ago the power went out and this light did not come on. So I thought I'd quickly have a look and see uh, wh why it uh, wasn't working. Now, uh, the first thing of course that I uh, wanted to do is ju to just uh, test the, the battery. Um, make sure that's at 6 volt, it is a 6 volt battery um, so let's just quickly have a look at that <coughs> okay you can see there it's measuring 4.19 volts now I've got this plugged into the mains um, so it clearly doesn't seem to be charging however something else that's quite interesting is the fact that there's um, besides the DC component there's also an AC component of about 1.5 volts hmm that doesn't look right let's get out the scope and uh, and see what that uh, voltage looks like okay I've got the scope set up to 2 volts per division see what we're measuring on this battery. I'm measuring straight on the battery at the moment aha okay now that's supposed to be a straight line uh, it's supposed to be a, a completely clean DC voltage however uh, clearly something has gone awry with the charging circuit right so uh, let's get back to the little PC board and see if we can trace where that's coming from now I've traced a little bit on the circuit and this these uh, four diodes over here make up the full wave rectifier and um, you've got a zener diode over here that regulates the charging voltage and the battery is then charged via this transistor over here okay so I think what we should do first of all is just confirm that we're getting uh, the correct uh, charging voltage from the transformer and uh, or at least the, the AC voltage from the transformer and see if it's being fully rectified and then I suspect it might have something to do with this um, smoothing capacitor okay I've clipped the ground clip of the oscilloscope to the ground plane here you can see the uh, black wire coming from the battery so uh, let's uh, probe around and see what we can measure here uh, over there that's what we saw um, on the uh, on the charging uh, while it was charging the battery. So you can see there's almost no smoothing happening there. There's the uh, one half of the full wave rectifier. There's the other half. Okay, so we seem to be getting uh, the, the desired voltages from our AC. AC measurement you can see there it's going all the way to 16.8 uh, if we take that as peak to peak voltage 17 almost 18 volts peak to peak so uh, let's have a look at that charging capacitor or the uh, smoothing capacitor so I suspect that uh, smoothing capacitor has uh, stopped functioning at only uh, 16 volts it's uh, bound to have been depleted or uh, the electrolytic probably has dried out on the inside of that capacitor so let's replace that with something else and see if we get a happy charging circuit again all right let's uh, see if we can measure this uh, grab my multimeter. <coughs> no, doesn't seem to be measuring anything whatsoever. This capacitor is definitely dead. So let's uh, go to the um, parts bin and see if we can find something that's more or less similar. And uh, just to make sure that uh, it's not shorted out, let's uh, quickly just measure the resistance. And as you can see, it's completely open circuit. It's completely dead. Nothing there anymore. Okay, so the only capacitor I could really find was this um, 100 microfarad capacitor. And 
uh, at least it's 35 volts so it should be fine uh, if we uh, just use this as a replacement part I don't have any higher values available but I think it should be fine uh, all we really needed to do is uh, smooth out that AC waveform uh, after the full wave rectifier okay so let's uh, put it back in and see if we can get our circuit charging the battery again okay <coughs> it's replaced let's see uh, what the charging circuit is doing now okay folks uh, so uh, let's have a look at the ripple here that's more uh, what we want to see like it's not it's still got a lot of ripple on it but it's currently charging the battery so it's got a lot of load on it um, but at least you can see there's some smoothing it's not going all the way down to zero volts and then coming back up and let's just measure with the output towards the batteries after the regulation there we go that's what we want to see it's almost a straight line and you can see there uh, seven about seven volts uh, DC RMS and almost no ripple going towards the battery uh, whilst charging it okay so I've been charging this uh, battery for about uh, three hours now um, but it seems that it's definitely not holding its charge there you can see the uh, charge voltage it's around about 7 volts um, but if I remove the charge the external charge voltage or the mains I just unplug it from the mains you see it just falls down to less than 1 volt okay so this battery is definitely dead uh, we'll, we're gonna have to uh, replace it if I plug it in again no problems um, so I'm happy that the charging circuit is working um, I think just one last test that we should do is to uh, apply 6 volts to the circuit artificially uh, just from a DC power supply to make sure that the standby lamp is indeed coming on okay uh, I've uh, connected it here to my bench power supply and I've set the bench power supply to around about 6.5 volts there um, and it's just connected to where the sealed lead acid battery used to be connected to uh, so let's remove, well let's just first turn off the light here and let's remove the external mains voltage hey no problem okay right so uh, plugging it back in turns off that light uh, basically means that all we have to do is replace the battery and we should be good to go Okay, I think uh, we can put it back together again now.